assembling your new Benini Sienna fountain. Step 1. Base and Large Bowl Assembly To begin assembly of your new Benini Sienna fountain, place the base of the fountain on a steady level surface. Apply steady pressure to the bottom of the base by stepping on the edge of the base to prevent the base from turning. Align the two matching grooves, the first at the bottom of the large bowl and the second at the top of the base. Connect the bowl to the base and turn the large bowl a quarter turn clockwise to lock it in place. Step 2. Fountain Tier Installation Inside the fountain bowl you will find two cords, a green banded cord and a black cord attached to the water pump. Feed these cords into the pipe in the middle of the large bowl. Press the plug into the pipe in the middle of the large bowl. If it is hard to do so, rub a little soapy water on the plug to help it slide in. Make sure the plug fits snugly into the tube. Align the groove at the base of the fountain bowl with the groove at the top of the large bowl. Connect the fountain bowl to the large bowl and turn the fountain bowl a quarter turn clockwise to lock it in place. Step 3. Battery Installation Gently pull down the three cords from inside the open battery compartment. Connect the colored coated cords to their corresponding receptacles labeled on the connection port, green to green, blue to blue, and black to black. Place the connection port inside the designated angle area located at the back of your fountain base, leaving the gray cable sticking out. Attach the gray cable of the connection port to the gray cable on the battery. Carefully insert the battery into the fountain base, making sure that it is not upside down. Once the battery has been inserted into its compartment, you should then place the battery compartment door on the base of the fountain. Start by lining up the notch at the bottom of the compartment door with the notch in the bottom of the battery opening. Push the battery compartment door in toward the base. You will know it is in position when the magnet locks the door in place. Once the door is in place, you will notice a small notch in the bottom left corner of the battery compartment door. This is for the optional Benini solar panel cord. When removing the battery compartment door, gently pull the door outward from the top. Then pull the battery compartment door up and out from the base. Do not overextend the battery compartment door by pulling down as this may damage the fountain. Step 4. Setting up your fountain. Fill the fountain bowl until water pours over the spouts. Then fill the large bowl until water is about 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters from the top of the bowl. After you have filled your fountain, press the C button once to turn the fountain on. Once the water fills, if it fails to run properly or makes a loud noise, don't worry, the problem is just air bubbles in the water pump. Press button C to turn the fountain off. Grab both sides of the fountain and shake your fountain quickly for 10 seconds. This will remove any air bubbles that may be caught in your water pump. Press the C button again to turn your fountain on. If the problem persists, turn it off and shake the fountain again. The onboard control panel is located at the top of the base of the fountain. It features four buttons, A through D. It is identical to the A, B, C and D buttons on the remote control. Pressing button A once turns on the fountain for one hour and then shuts down. Pressing the A button twice causes it to run for two hours, three times for three hours and four times for four hours. Pressing button B results in the fountain running the same as button A, except that the fountain then turns on automatically each day at the same time. Button C is the manual on-off switch. Button D operates the colored LED light feature on your fountain. Turn on your fountain by pressing button C. Once the fountain is running, press button D once to run the automatic color change function on your fountain. By pressing the D button once, the colors on your fountain will continue to cycle through the entire color selection. If you want the fountain to run with a particular color, press the D button a second time while that color is running. Now, every time the fountain is running, that will be the color selected. To reset the fountain back to its original mode, while the fountain is running, press the D button again. 
This will cause the fountain to reset back to its start. The fountain will then cycle continually through all of the colors. Step 5. Installation instructions for decor tops and additions. The dancing water feature installation. Attach any of the dancing water fountains to the water outlet in the center of the top fountain tier. The dancing water features include the shower spray attachment, the rolling wave attachment, the umbrella spray attachment, and the pirouette attachment. Flowerbud finial top installation. To install the flowerbud finial, pull the two ends of the extension tube until they are about nine inches apart. Attach the extension tube to the water outlet in the center of the top fountain tier. Put the flowerbud finial over the top of the extension tube. The flower bud finial attaches to the fountain bowl in the same way as the large bowl attaches to the base. Line up the grooves and rotate the flower bud a quarter turn in a clockwise direction. Replace the silicone cap on the top of the extension tube and push down until it is level with the flower bud finial. Self-watering garden feature installation. Before placing the self-watering garden feature, Remove all dancing water attachments. Transplant a potted plant into the garden bowl. If your potted plant requires a large amount of water, simply place the planter on top of the water spout. If your plant requires less water, simply place the spacer over the top of the water spout and then place the planter on top of the spacer. If you are having trouble getting water to flow evenly off of the spouts on your Benini fountain, you may need to level the surface that your fountain is placed on. Place a shim underneath the base on the opposite side that is not flowing as strongly as the other sides. Grab the shim and break it on the crease closest to the base. If you happen to live in an area with strong winds, your fountain can be weighed down by adding several scoops of sand inside the base. The battery can safely sit atop the sand in the middle of the chamber's base. You are now ready to enjoy your Benini Sienna Fountain.